Let's say that we have a function, do stuff, that takes an argument, which is a string, and inside the body of this function, we need to have the value as our own string. The way you will use this function, for example, is with do stuff, hello to string. The problem with this approach is every time you have a reference of a string, you are going to have to call to string. So if we don't want that and be a little bit more flexible, what we do is we're going to remove our to string, and then in the argument result to text string, we are going to take a reference of str. And then because our function body needs to have string, we are going to shadow the variables and put the two string within the body of the function. And then we have our val as a string. And now if in our main function we get our val as a string from the database or JSON or whatever, then we'll pass it as a reference of value. And that will work as well. Now the catch here, sometimes we do want to pass the string as a value because we don't want to duplicate it. So for example, in this case, we are going to have a first two string over there and an allocation. And then within the body, we are going to again call two strings. So that will duplicate the string. So can we pass either a reference of a string to do stuff, and in this case, it will be cloned, or move the string into the do stuff function? And the pattern is relatively simple. It's rather to have a reference of str. Now we're going to say that our var implement the into trait string. Now rather to have to string, we're going to have into. And because of the into string, that will get our string back. Now the cool thing of this approach is that the do stuff reference var still work. And in this case, the into will create a new string because it just has the reference. However, if we remove the reference, that will move the value into the function do stuff. And then the into will basically do nothing, will return self. And probably the compiler will even remove the line. And to demonstrate that, if we are trying to use the var after we call do stuff, it will fail because again, it has been moved there. So by using implementation of into string as an argument, you can accept reference of string or reference of str. And in this case, the into will clone the string, but you can also accept the value of a string or something that can translate into a string. And then in this case, it's going to be a move. So in a way you have best of both world. This doesn't mean we should replace all of the ref str by into string, but this pattern can be very useful in many use cases. Hopefully this was useful. Until next one, happy coding.